Hey there, nail friends. Welcome back to Dippin' with Carolina. Let's get right into this video. So today I have swiped on Risen Legacy's nail cleanser and applied UNT peel base. I've applied one coat and just one extra coat at the tips. I already have builder gel on my nails. So we're going to start off with Just My Luck from Risen Legacy. It's a beautiful glitter dip it's perfect for St. Patrick's Day, and it's actually exclusive for St. Patrick's Day in the St. Patrick's Day collection from Risen Legacy. I am taking my favorite base, which is also from Risen Legacy, and I'm going to apply this onto my middle finger and onto my ring finger. I'm going to apply two coats of this glitter. I also go around my cuticles and just move any of the glitters and just readjust anything that is on the cuticle or around the cuticle or not necessary. Now I'm going to go on to my next finger and I'm going to apply a nice thin layer of base. And then I like to dip flat into the glitter just to get as much coverage as possible. You might not get a lot of coverage on the first try, but on the second coat, you'll definitely get more coverage. And again, I go around the cuticle and just remove anything that is not necessary. I do dip my fingers sometimes in to get a little bit of clear and pat down the glitters so they lay nice and flat. Then brush away the excess clear and go in for your second coat. I apply a little bit more base just so I don't move the glitters around too much and I more float the base over rather than press real hard. And see with this coat you definitely get more glitter coverage. Don't be afraid if it's really chunky and uneven it will all flatten out later. And so once those layers are nice and dry, just pat them flat gently so you don't move around any of the glitter. We'll pat it down flatter later. And now I'm going in with a thermal dip from Fairy Glamour. It goes from dark green to green. It does say Fairy Glow, but they did change the name. I put it in a cupcake liner and with thermals, you want to definitely stir your powder. They do tend to pack down due to the the pigment that makes it thermal. So definitely stir your dips and make them nice and fluffy. I'm telling you, this will make a huge difference. This thermal is so cool. So I purchased these myself and I'm really impressed. I purchased the entire thermal collection and now I want all the thermals, like every thermal that was ever made, I want it. This is so cool. It's like an ombre without doing an ombre. And when in, you're in room temperature, it's the light color. And then when you're outside, it's the dark color. It's so cool. So I am applying this to the rest of my fingers. And I'm going to apply three coats. I'm only going to show you two coats on camera because it's the same thing for the third coat.
Okay, so now I have done three coats of the solid thermal on all of my nails. I'm going to close this up and I'm going to take clear dip. I always encapsulate all of my colors in clear. I'm going to do that off camera. And then I like to take a stiff makeup brush. And I like to remove the clear after it's definitely dry for a few minutes. And this really helps remove all of that excess clear that is not necessary. Now we are going in with our activator and our activator stops the adhesion process and hardens the dip and makes it ready for filing. I do the solid colors because now I'm going to do my glitter and I'm going to press it down. And this gives you a nice window of time to flatten all those glitters if any of them are sticking up or out of place. So I nicely pat them down around the corners, definitely pinch the sides if you have longer nails. And then I go in with my second coat just to be sure that all of the layers have received activator. And now I'm going to file and buff off camera. Look how nice these are, they're so cute. Oh my God, I love this thermal. Like I said, I want more thermals. And we are going in with our second coat of activator. Now this activator is for the top coat to harden. In order for dip top coat to harden, it needs to react with activator. So I apply activator to all of my fingers and then I wait two minutes. And after that two minutes is up, I go in with my top coat. With my first layer of top coat, I only do three strokes per nail and cap the tips. This is because you don't want your brush too long on the activator so it doesn't get sensitive or contaminate. But Risen Legacy's top coat is very hard to contaminate. I have never hardened a brush ever. So I go in with my first coat and just do three strokes per nail. And then on my second coat, I am more precise and I can do more layers and more coats, but I really only do three. I rarely ever do more. And I do a little bit of a thicker coat, not too much because then it might not dry very well, but I go in with a little bit of a thicker coat and it gives it that beautiful gel-like shine. I love this top coat. Use Carolina 10 for 10% off at Risen Legacy. I highly recommend this top coat. Look how shiny it is. It's like gel without the UV lamp. Okay, now that it is all said and done and dry, I am going in with my Risen Legacy cuticle oil. It's a nice spa-like scent, so it's not overwhelming or overpowering. And I'm just going to replenish any of the moisture that was lost as it is a drying process, especially with filing and buffing. And this is what my fingernails look like. Look at how this changes with warm water or hot water. And now this is what it looks like with cold water. Look how cool this color change is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Check out Fairy Glamour. Bye, guys.